In today's competitive housing market, builders who are still making sales tend to be those who are making significant investments in their model homes, and specifically in the merchandising of those models. Hi, I'm Jeff Lancashire for Build TV. Across the country and in every price range, whether you offer one model home or a dozen, making a strong and memorable first impression on a prospective buyer is critical to a successful sales effort. It's a pretty competitive world out here, and sophisticated buyers are jumping from model to model, looking for the best possible purchase for their lifestyle. It is important that we hold on to them right here. After a builder has spent so much money and so much effort merchandising and getting the people to this community, we're, we're, we have one shot at it. Ann Brueger ought to know. As one of the most sought-after merchandisers along the East Coast, she's honed the skill of creating interiors that not only push a buyer's hot buttons, but also the envelope of model home merchandising. We want the prospective purchaser, especially in a home like this, this is almost a million dollar home, to see the things that they've seen in every magazine or in their travels around the world. We have um, outstanding moldings in this house that we have designed uh, in order to create a palatial atmosphere. One of her most recent projects, The Glens by NV Home in Stafford County, Virginia, an emerging community south of Washington, D.C., is an example of the latter. Priced from the upper 700s to nearly 1 million, The Glens is certainly upscale and a perfect example of how Brueger merchandises model homes to appeal to a project's particular target market. As far as we saw it, the only challenge was to get the uh, perspective purchaser out here. Our job is to create subliminal messages all through the house so that after a day of shopping they will remember this home as number one. If you stand in this foyer you get to see five images and the five images must all pull you through the house. You see a living room, you see a conservatory, you see a grand um, family room, you see a dining room, you see a kitchen. They're all well coordinated and it will pull you if it's done correctly through the entire house so a prospective purchaser will lose nothing. Transitional design really is targeted to a little bit younger, more sophisticated buyer. However, there are elements of old world in it that make you feel you've arrived. We are all influenced by the shelter magazines that come to our houses at night. We all fall asleep with them on our chest anticipating reading them, but we don't have a chance. All those magazines give you the subliminal messages that we in, in turn interpret in these models. On the other end of the spectrum, Brueger also merchandised the new community of Nassau Grove by Kehav Nanian near the Delaware shore. And it's no coincidence that it's one of the fastest selling communities going. So Anne, what can builders do to keep current with design trends uh, for their model homes? Well, they first need to hire professional merchandisers. And the second thing is, is to have confidence in us that we know that the world trends are monitored by companies that do design. We know that the purchasers at any level, whether it's first time entry or whether it's something grand like this home, we know what they're reading, we know what they're seeing on television, and we know what they're buying. So what we try to do is overshoot the market just a little to create the dream for them when they come in. Good advice from a proven industry expert, especially in today's housing market. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in for more Build TV, ideas to help your business. For Build TV, I'm Jeff Lancashire.